Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. We have uh, President Donnell Williams and Courtney Jones. For most people, they won't know President of what. So just explain to the people who you guys are. What do y'all do? Uh, the national. I'm the president of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. It is a uh, predominantly African American real estate trade association. Mm-hmm. We are the conscious of America. We like to say, mm-hmm. as far as housing is concerned, mm-hmm. uh, we have over 100 chapters across the country, and we are um, the guardians of our community. Now, these good brothers reached out to me the other day, and uh, we were talking about real estate. And we were just talking about the same thing. They said that they uh, respect what I was doing with the community as far as real estate. And they will have they have a, a, a different platform where they do the same thing. And I said, this would be great. So tell people what you're doing this week and why it's so important in trying to get our community into real estate. <clears throat> well, this uh, this week is the Congressional Black Caucus. Mm-hmm. And that's where we're going. Um, the National Association of Real Estate Brokers is headed down there. We have a it's about time we had a conversation on black home ownership. A national conversation is what we're having at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. Uh, we have a bunch of influencers flying down from across the country, and we're going to have that conversation and see if we can't have some real-life, real-time solutions because we are at a crisis. What do we need to change? Uh, re- currently, right now, today, of the last quarter, um, black home ownership is down to 40.6%. That means six out of the ten people you see at the Walmart, the, the grocery store, the library, church, the YMCA, six out of ten of them do not own their own home. Mm-hmm. That's an issue. That's a crisis. Um, what we're trying to do here is uh, stimulate some growth. Mm-hmm. Now, on August 1st, when I became president of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, I declared a cease and desist on declining black home ownership rates. We have a bunch of programs out there now that's going to help. Case in point, there are 1.7 million black millennials right now that do not own a home mm-hmm. that make over $100,000 a year. Right now in the New York MSA, which is the Metropolitan Statistical Area, there are 300, over 317,000 of those black millennials that make over $100,000 a year that do not own a home. That's a crisis. We need to put forth every effort. So we wanted to educate people on housethenthecar.com. Yeah, security is so important when it comes to being a homeowner. I know before I was, when I was super broke, I never thought in my head that I'll ever be able to own a home. And that's something that can be very stressful for you, just mentally wondering, like, when it's time for me to retire, am I going to have to worry about where I'm living? Am I going to have to keep on working until I'm 90 years old to be able to pay rent somewhere and never own anything? And it is something that I think people are concerned about as they get older and you realize I still don't own a home. Financial security is large. It's big. You have to protect yourself. There's an old saying to... To not be financially financially secure is to be naked in front of your enemies. Mm. So uh, we have to, um, first of all, protect our community, protect our families. That security we're talking about as far as generational wealth, mm-hmm. it, it's important because that's how we build wealth. Not a lot of people are leaving us stocks and bonds and what have you, but we build wealth through home ownership. That's the, that's the starting point. Nah, but what they say, you know, black people in our community say all the time, well, you need money to make money. You, you know, you need a lot of money to buy a house. Or, or they'll say, that only rich people buy houses. Or, or they'll say, you know, my credit is, is effed up. You know, or I got to put a lot down. So what do you say to those people? Look, I just signed, uh, about 30, day, 30 days ago, I signed an agreement, uh, MOU, with a down payment assistance program. What's MOU? Uh, Memorandum of Understanding. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just signed that uh, about 30 days ago, where you don't have to put, they will give you down payment money. And funds with two different companies. It's on the website. So you mean if, if if I'm a minority, right, black person, I can go on the website and find a program where I don't have to put down money, they'll assist me with that? Correct. And you don't have to be black. Anybody can go there. Oh, what's the website? N-A-R-E-B. <laughs> N-A-R-E-B. <laughs> N-A-R-E-B. People, don't, people don't be knowing this type of information. Exactly. And they're unaware. That's what I say, unaware. Okay. And one of the best pieces of advice I got about real estate was when I was buying my first house, the, my realtor was like, don't think of this as your only house. This is your first house. This is your first investment. So it doesn't have to be the perfect piece of property or where you think you're going to live and die and be there for the rest of your life. Just look at this as this is your first home that you're purchasing. You're right. You said something very interesting right there when I mean, you said you're a realtor. Mm-hmm. And realtor is a trade name. The National Association of Real Estate Brokers was founded in 1947, and we have a trade name as well. It's called Realtist. So when you see that, you'll know that they're a member of my association. We have 
tens of thousands of members across the country. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? The difference is that uh, up until 1968, 1972 here on the East Coast, that uh, the National Association of Realtors would not allow African Americans, black people, to be part of the National Association of Realtors. Eleven brothers and one sister got together from across the country, Detroit, California, got together in Tampa, Florida, and started this association. It has now spread across the country. Oh, she's a black woman, so she's a realtist? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she joined. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll ask her. You Please do. <laughs> we need that. Now, you're going to D.C. this week. Now, tell people what they can do to get involved and how can people come support what you guys are doing because you guys are really pushing our community, to invest in our community, to purchase homes, not to rent, and to make sure that we actually have something. You're absolutely right. Um, like I said, Tuesday we're having a national conversation on black home ownership with influencers flying in. On uh, Wednesday we're meeting with, uh, you know, some of the GSEs, government-sponsored entities, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, um, folks like that. Then on Thursday we're having our brain trust. Every year we put out a SHIBA report, State of Housing in Black America. It have all the stats in it, all the information about the black home ownership rate, about programs and products that we can use, um, just everything in there. Right now, we're concentrating on millennials. That's when we came out with HouseThenTheCar.com. Student loans mm -hmm. are an issue. Student loans are an issue. But actually, in the African-American community, auto loans are an issue, a big issue, because there's a debt-to-income ratio, and people are failing to realize what it is. So, um, and after that, we're going to have a reception. We have a, a pack. We have a, we're going to have a reception for folks. And we're just really going to be networking with our congresspeople. Now, they're saying the market's going to fall, the recession's about to hit, that, you know, people shouldn't get real estate or people shouldn't buy houses. What do you say to those people? No. <laughs> <laughs> and are interest rates really low right now? Interest rates are cr crazy low right now. 3.8, 3.7 right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So for when you say no, you said no, like you should... Don't worry about that. You should still buy. Oh, you should buy. Okay. You should buy. Mm -hmm. You should buy. All right. Well, this is what I wanted you guys to come up here and talk about. And how can they get more information? Just give them the websites and everything again. Well, the website is uh, N as in national, A-R-E-B mm -hmm. dot com. But then uh, the, while we're down at the caucus, we are launching house then the car dot com. House than the car. House than the car. Y'all, you two have dedicated your life to this. What do you say to people who might just be using it as a means to take advantage of people. Yeah, Charlemagne, um, my name is Courtney Jones. I'm the president of, of the local chapter of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers in Chicago called the Dearborn Realtors Board. And one of the things that we're tremendously passionate about, we have two initiatives that we kind of use to address this. One is our faith-based initiative mm -hmm. where we're locking arms with all the faith institutions, all the different denominations across the country bringing them to the table because those tend to have been the pillars of security in the black neighborhoods across the country. And then also with that, we have a focus called the Community Day, which is about the housing outreach. Because if we can protect our community against the predators, we can get them these types of information because our trade association is made up of all of the different components of a real estate transaction. So whether it's the broker, a real estate broker, real estate attorney, a GC, a developer, rehabber, you name it across the board, we bring those expertise to the table. We bring an attorney help desk to the table where our folks can actually interface with down payment assistance because you'd be surprised to what you spoke about, how many folks we see that actually walk out of a housing counseling session, which is NID is who we leverage, um, black owned and operated that now walked out with this paper saying, whoa, I could afford mm -hmm. crying. We have video testimony mm -hmm. of folks crying saying, I didn't believe I could purchase. Mm -hmm. right. So many times that down payment issue is what I heard from my auntie mm -hmm. or my uncle saying you need 20 percent down. We're way past those times. Folks have been closing on property, getting a refund check back at the closing table. So it's really Charlemagne about helping folks get the information from real estate professionals as opposed to folks just trying to check a check. And the funny thing is, is you know, when I spoke to you guys, and, and I don't know them from a can of paint. We just spoke, and they actually wanted me to come to the caucus, and I, couldn't, I can't make it. I'm going to try. But what was the first thing I said to you guys? My biggest thing is all these people taking our community's money because of the hopes and fears of purchasing a home and trying to be rich. That's my biggest thing. All these seminars where these people are taking thousands of dollars from people and giving them shit. 
No, Envy, can I just tell you, in Chicago, um, under our leadership nationally, we were able to get a designation with the mayor's office for receivership slash forfeiture training where we have been able in the last two and a half years to train 300 minorities mm. in the ability to take encumbered property, and we see it from traveling the country, mm. boarded up buildings, Red X properties, stuff that have a lot of taxes, water bills, mechanic liens. Well, in that partnership, we're able to actually get those properties cleaned up and now sold to the community in a price point where they could leverage different rehab products where now our neighborhoods are harder to gentrify if we have more people coming to the table owning before the prices get too high mm -hmm. and folks get priced out. Because that's our biggest Absolutely. fear. I'm sorry, Mr. And, President. And what you were saying about the uh, the seminars that they give and they charge people all this money, we get we do those same seminars for free, for absolutely free. And the next one, I think, to be with that house in the car, going to go back to that, that's going to be in October. Mm -hmm. It's going to be across the country in all the major cities. I think we've identified 16 major cities across the country where we're going to be doing just that. And we have partners with all the major financial institutions. So we're trying to impact lives, and that's what that's what we're about. And that's what it is. Give me the website one more time. N-A-R-E-B.com, N-A-R-E-B.com, and HouseThenTheCar.com. We appreciate right. you brothers for joining us. Thank you for having us. And we're going to try to get there this week, Wednesday and Thursday, to come up there and, and talk some real estate with the I'm going to be there on that Friday. I'm, I'm at the... Congressional Black Caucus this weekend. I heard that. Yeah, I yeah. heard that. So can you stop by? Y'all doing something Friday? We're not doing anything Friday. Oh. I'm only there for that day. <laughs> 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 All right. It's President Donald Williams and Courtney Jones. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's Thank the you. Breakfast Club. Good morning.